Carlos Ryan here, and today I'll be talking about some of the effects of energy density. Now, what energy density is, is how many calories a food has according to its weight. So some high energy density foods would be things like bacon or croissants, and some low energy density foods would be things like celery and cucumbers. If you're someone that struggles getting enough calories in for the day to actually gain weight, this is going to be a great topic for you, along with individuals that uh, have troubles eating too many calories. Now, let's go ahead and look at a study here with normal weight women, and what they did was, uh, participants were given several side dishes that manipulated the energy density of said side dishes, and then after that, the diet was ad libitum, and the women could eat as much as they wanted. Now, what they found was, this, uh, no matter how many calories the food contained, or the energy density of said food, the same weight was eaten overall throughout the meal. Now, this is a very important uh, idea there. And then on top of that, they were able to manipulate how many calories the women ate by 400 just by giving the lower energy density food side dishes first before the diet was ad libitum. Now what this means is that by changing to lower energy density foods throughout the day, you can actually feel fuller and have less cravings and are more likely to stay in an energy deficit if you do so. And then on the other end of uh, the other side of things, if you're somebody that struggles with getting calories in, having higher calorie uh, or higher energy density foods throughout the day is gonna greatly aid you in gaining weight or uh, preferably muscle. Now, keep in mind, while the uh, high energy density foods up here are mostly unhealthy things, or things that aren't so uh, good to have in abundance, keep in mind there's plenty of healthier energy density or high energy density foods as well. Things like black beans, avocados, and olive oil are all three great examples of that. Now, there's also a meta-analysis that was recently done covering 23 studies that also show that there's a great uh, relationship to the energy density and um, actual body composition changes that happen in a diet. So needless to say, this is a very important topic to think about when looking at your nutrition. Think about covers it for this topic. That's Brandon Morgan signing out.